Hi everyone, in this video we're going over your creative advertisement offer. When you think about your creative advertisement offer, it's a creative marketing asset. It's designed to help you promote your business and specifically what you're offering your customer. So let's start with step one, and that's a rough draft of your copywriting. And this is gonna allow you to write freely, unfiltered, and creatively before you make it an official offer or put it into that asset. So here's our outline for the key requirements for your offer. You wanna make sure you provide a promise, a pitch, a price, and a visual. So let's go over some of the details of what this will include. For our promise, focus on the benefit to a specific person. Think about your customer, your customer avatar. You wanna write short, bold statements that gets attention and you wanna be clear and concise in the words that you select. Now we move on to your pitch. Think about what your customer needs to know in order for them to make a purchase. We don't have to be overly detailed here. It's a big picture of what your item is, what your product is, what your service is, but we do wanna provide a sense of urgency so we can get them to react. Think about how you can get them to take action right now, and that's your call to action. We wanna include our price, and this is our product or service cost. In this price, we want to provide all that's included in their purchase. And then, of course, what does the customer need to do to make this purchase or buy your item? We want to provide that visual aid. And this is going to be a visual representation of the item, service, product. It can even be the outcome or impact it might have on their life. So if you don't sell a specific product to a person and it's more service based, um, think about what their life would look like so it can be more lifestyle for this. All right, so if you're watching this video, you have two options for this project. You can create a one page advertisement or you can create a short form video and a short form video being under one minute. So some last minute advice, be specific, all right? Write to your customer, remember your avatar. Have a purpose for every word. Every word needs to have a reason to be there, so be precise in what you, do, what you decide to write. Use numbers when possible. Numbers are gonna help you get attention faster. Make sure you use positive words. Use words that bring your customer happiness or joy. Remember, this is for your customer. Think about your avatar. How does your ad make your customer feel after they read it? All right, so some last minute things. Just have fun. It's always obvious when someone's enjoying their work. We can see it in the final results and the outcome. Be creative. Don't take it too seriously. You still want to be a little bit expressive with this, so just enjoy it. Be authentic. You know, really be yourself. But of course, you have to think about your customer as well. So it's authentic to who you are, but of course, we're always doing this for the customer so we can grab their attention. All right, so here's the example that you see below. Um, we have our promise, which is they'll be able to decorate their home with an authentic mid-century modern piece. We have some details, which would be part of that pitch and in that promise, which is the 1958 Roy Hill Saga collection. And of course, we have the details of what it is. So not too much about the specifics. It's just brown wood, sliding glass closures, how it's been restored and some dimensions. With our price, we'd have this specific dollar amount as well as some options for how they pick it up if there's possible delivery within a certain mile range. And of course we have contact information in case they have any questions. You also see a visual aid. There's some elements in here that are more mid-century because it's mid-century pieces. And of course we can provide more details if they visit this particular link. So this is our creative offer on a one page advertisement. All right, so that wraps everything up. If you do have a question, feel free to send me a message.